Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. I've been stuck at home. On the upside, artists are streaming everywhere all the time now, so there's so much to learn. One in particular being Skrillex. One of my absolute favorite producers. He went on Instagram and played this really, really cool beat. I heard it, I got inspired, I'm like, I wanna try and remake this thing. And I go into Ableton, and this is what I came up with. Now of course, it's not exact, so it kind of remade it. Put my own spin on it, made it a bit more chilled out. That's how it goes sometimes. When you produce, there's no real shame in copying. Even Skrillex himself, when he tried to make the scary monsters growl, he was only trying to copy noises. That just goes to show that everybody is inspired by something. So this just happens to be my song that I've made that's inspired by Skrillex. So I'm gonna go through the project file and show you how I did it. Okay, the best place to start would be... On this channel here, I've got kick and snare. It's got these basic sounds. One for noise, one for bass, a rim shot, and a trappy snare. And so in the Skrillex track, he's got it kind of like a breakbeat garage type beat. Programming that in, it looks like this. When I first started making this beat though, I tried to add way too many things. I thought that the rim shot had to be like on every off beat, but this type of beat actually works better when there's a lot of space over here. There's literally like a full half bar, a full bar of just nothing. These types of beats are really spacey. Right now it's kind of hard to groove to this because everything's off. So what you need to do for syncopated rhythms like this is add a constant rhythm. So for this one, I did hats. Let's just go while the whole rhythm's going on. In combination, that way you have that groove. Next thing I did was add layers to the kicks, the snares, the rim shots. So I've got two percussion channels here doing this sound kind of weird on their own but if you notice they're actually layered with each major hit I want to point out this one here this percussion sound Djemba 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 gives that low-end little punch for that offbeat there it, it layers really well with the rim shot and then the other part is this percussion that's layered with the snare is offset a little bit so it gives a bit of that flam very Skrillex, very jack -y. And then the very last thing I added, rather than doing fills, I did fast hats instead. I just kind of put them in at the beginning and ends and just kind of sprinkled them through the beat to give it just a little bit more character. So, all together. And that's the drums. So let's move on now to I guess the backbone of the song, which would be the pads. I actually sampled a song from the Persona 5 soundtrack because I have me making a beat out of the Persona 5 soundtrack. Check that out. It's actually this song. So I took it right from the beginning. It's this kind of ambient pad thing. Took that, chopped it up a bit, and then now it sounds like... Just to give me like a kind of chord progression to go under. That ducking sound you hear from the pad is coming from the side chain here. I've got the side chain over to the kick and snare. So with the drums, that's gonna sound like this. So when I heard that, I heard the Skrillex melody going along with it. I got something that sounds like this here. That sound there, that's just actually a preset that I got from the Somatic San Holo. It's called Northern Lights. But going into it, it's not that complicated. It's basically a 
a BS2 wavetable here, noise oscillator set to polar one, and the filter here, low pass filter. Those are kind of the main elements that make the sound. If I take away the noise, completely different. Oh no, but why doesn't it sound the same? Let me show you. I heard this sound and I heard that like kind of noise thing in the background. I want to bring that out more. What's the one way to do it? Our good friend over here, his name is OTT. What he does is he'll take sounds that are normally in the background and just bring it right up to the front. So stuff like that wind in the back, you get it, you hear it. Check it out. That's crazy. Like before, it sounds like a little baby pluck. Now it's a big boy synth. So that's why everybody puts OTT on everything because it brings out harmonics that don't normally get heard. And then I also layered it with uh, a simple saw wave. <laughs> Just to give it a bit more thickness. Never be afraid to layer stuff. Layering is always good. As long as when you're layering, think of what is this sound missing and what can I layer it with to beef it up. This is what it sounds like now. But Ash, it's missing something. What could it be? Lucky for you, I'm here to show you. And it is this bass sound. That's what's gonna bring it all together. Oh, baby. So how do we get that? So first of all, in Serum, it's basically just two saw waves and a low pass filter with oscillator B five semitones down. It's just a really clean bass sound. You're playing it now. I can't, I can't even hear it. What happened? What do you do to help hear the bass? Well, we're gonna use a combination of two things. We're gonna bring back our friend OTT. It's sounding a lot better compared to that. To that, it brings out a lot of that distortion, but I'm gonna add a little bit more distortion with erosion, and that's gonna really, really bring it out. Mmm, that sounds awesome. It almost adds a bit of white noise to it. So the bass is really, really audible and it's got that kind of grungy feel to it. The last part here, it's a bit more of a processing. I add a mid side EQ so that I can take out all of the bass in the stereo field. You want your bass to be like centered, completely mono. And the best way to do that is with the EQ8 here in mid side mode. You see, mid side, and you go through that just over here. So you switch it from stereo, you go to mid side, switch it to the side, and then just take out all of the low end. So boom, it's all gone. And then I also boost a little bit on the top so you can get grunge. And then the final thing I'll do is I'll open up a spectrum. I'll boost the mid section of the bass to try and aim to get the volume of the bass to be hitting around minus one, minus two, wherever the key of the song is. In this case, it's A sharp or B flat. So you can see on spectrum, we're getting minus two there. I'm getting there by boosting the volume in that frequency. Think of this as a volume knob. So by doing that, that keeps the bass the loudest element in your mix. Once the bass is the loudest, you mix that in with the kick and snare, and then you mix in everything else and you'll have a cleaner mix down every time. And there it is. That's the Skrillex kind of remake, remix, attempt to sound like Skrillex again and again, because that's all I ever do when I produce. Oops. If you like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I've got the project file free for download as well. Go ahead and do that. But I hope you've learned something. Peace. I'll see you next time. Bye.